All right, so you've just finished watching the video about ice road truckers. And this was a fairly interesting video clip. It definitely felt a little bit suspenseful with what they were dealing with. And now what I would like you to do is try to summarize what this video was about and pause the video right now while you do that. Okay, so my version of this video or the, how I would summarize this video is basically that there were two trucks that had to cross over this road which is made of ice. Obviously it's in the winter and this road only exists when the river is frozen or the lake is frozen. So when the trucks were going they were suspicious of an area that looked like it was wet because the weather had been warming up and they were concerned about uh, the ice not being thick enough to be able to support their truck crossing the this river that was frozen so when they got out they looked and they thought oh geez okay mm, it looks risky but we have no other choice so we have to cross the river so the lady went first she gets into her truck and she starts driving and they can hear this crack 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 the the ice is starting to crack under the weight of the truck as it's trying to cross the river and all of a sudden one of her tires breaks through and she says i'm falling in and uh, anyway so she gets out of the truck she's trying to walk across this ice area and realizes how soft the ice is and and they don't know what to do so they decided to use this piece of equipment that they had on the back of one of the other trucks to actually push the truck so that it could become unstuck or to help it to move forward luckily they were able to get the truck moving and they were able to cross that truck so it could get to its destination so that's my version of the summary i hope that you maybe heard an interesting phrase or something that you didn't know how to say before you're not trying to learn my summary perfectly it's only for an example the idea here is that you learn how to talk about what you just seen or what you just learned in a lot of detail this is the point of the activity so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you a question and I want you to try to answer it. Why was the ice weak? Pause the video and give your answer. Okay, the ice was weak because there, this was a river that they were trying to cross and a river is flowing water or it has a current and because the water is moving possibly more more water is moving against the ice in a certain area that can create a weak area and that is what was happening in this section and also the fact that the temperatures were starting to get warmer the ice wasn't as frozen or solid as it normally is in the middle part of the winter why did the truck get stuck The truck got stuck because one of its wheels broke through the ice in a soft area. And you could see in the video that the tire was spinning and it wasn't getting any traction. How thick do you think the ice has to be to support a big heavy truck and trailer like that to cross over, to drive over the ice and not fall through? Well, I don't really know how thick the ice has to be because the video didn't tell me, but I don't know if I'd have to take a guess, maybe like 10 feet thick because that's a really big truck and it has a trailer and it has a lot of weight behind it. What did they do to get the truck unstuck? What they did to get the truck unstuck was they unloaded 
this piece of equipment that they had and they decided to push the truck from behind to try to give it some extra traction or some extra help to be able to to move forward on its own. Why do you think that these trucks have to cross these frozen rivers or lakes? Well, they have to cross these frozen rivers or lakes because they are delivering some sort of cargo or some sort of equipment, possibly food, some sort of supply to a remote area. How would you feel if you had to drive one of these trucks across a frozen piece of ice? For me, I would feel very, very uncomfortable and nervous anytime that I would be driving a big truck like that across ice because I would be worried about falling through the ice and drowning. Like, you know, obviously it's really, really cold water underneath the ice. There's ice on top of it. And if that water, you know, was to come into the truck, you'd probably die very, very quickly. So I would be very, very nervous if I ever had to do that sort of situation, even if I was assured that it was safe to do it. What other aspects of this job are dangerous regarding driving a big truck like that in winter conditions? Obviously, if you're driving in winter conditions, things are very, very slippery. I can only imagine if you have a large truck like that and you have to go around a corner or up a hill, there's a possibility that you're not going to have a lot of traction and the momentum that you have of your vehicle or your truck moving forward, the semi-truck, uh, the possibility of it losing control because of this ice or something slippery is very very likely so i think that it's really dangerous to drive this type of vehicle anywhere in the winter and especially driving across ice so what i want you to do is to actually play this video and answer the questions three times Remember, the first time and the second time, it's okay to look up the new words and phrases that you don't know. Really what you're doing is you're preparing for the third time that you answer this question. And when you answer the question for the third time, you're going to be able to express your thought with a lot more fluency. There's some really strange vocabulary here because we're talking about semi-trucks, trailers, uh, heavy equipment, ice roads, breaking through ice, things are cracking. This is all vocabulary related to this sort of topic and it's a really cool opportunity for you to learn how to use these words and to start feeling comfortable expressing thoughts related to this type of environment or some sort of dangerous job. So it's okay if you found this activity difficult the first time. It's going to get easier every time you do it. If you're at an intermediate level or you're really having a hard time with your speaking, feel free to repeat this activity and watch this video answering the questions as many times as you need to. It's okay. The objective here is to show you that you can actually speak more fluently and little by little if you continue to do exercises like this it's going to be applied to your conversations that you have with real people spontaneously and you're not going to need a dictionary to be able to express the ideas that you want to express in the exact way that you want to say it.